Japan. When I was ordained priest in 1996, I started my pastoral service, and I have seen that I just could say that contraception is not okay, but I couldn't send persons to for consultation. And uh, I organized small, uh, small center, or consulting center, with one gynecologist and one consultant. Uh, let us protect a miracle. And then I was peaceful because I had possibility to send persons to, for consulting or for natural family planning. Uh, but six years later, uh, I have heard that oh, our uh, government would like, our parliament would like to legalize abortion. And I have seen that nothing is happening and somebody has to move. And I organized, I had idea how to put argumentations, or I made structure and organized one team of experts and prepare one, uh, one uh, article. It was published in the most, uh, in the newspaper number one, most liberal newspaper in Latvia. And uh, the structure was uh, plus minus so. Uh, in my full presentation, uh, there is a text of this article, but I would like just make one short synthesis, some points. Uh, that uh, um, theological arguments doesn't work in, uh, for secular audience. And uh, I, I wanted to show that these theological arguments are not at all contrary to legal, scientific, and universal arguments, but even in direct harmony with them. And then I explained all, all these, these dimensions. But um, this article was entitled, Why I was lucky. Because when my mother was pregnant, uh, she was under pressure to make abortion, but she was Catholic believer and she refused this proposal. And for this reason, I could share that I was lucky. Uh, mm. So in that article, it's pity, but uh, Parliament accepted. Uh, no, it was polit their political will, political decision. They legalized abortion in 2002 in Latvia. But Christians, different Christian confessions, and we are 20% Catholics, uh, about 35% Lutherans, 17% Orthodox, and Baptists as a fourth, and a lot of smaller confessions. We were working together, and for example, in one of the central uh, squares of Riga, one entrepreneur, he was not Christian, not baptized. He was very active to promote exhibition about 10 figures of unborn children and, uh, and the history of them, and history of them. Uh, and it was very strong experience. Uh, and uh, a lot of persons then attended it. And I, it's what's uh, important, that our ecumenical efforts of all Christian confessions together uh, brought fruits. Because in 1991, there were 38,000 abortions in Latvia. In 2010, already 7.4 thousand. And in 2020, 2.8 thousand. Every year it's going down and it's the fruit of our active, how to say, promotion of life. Uh, it may be uh, about this topic, it's enough. Then uh, about law on, on civil unions. Uh, in two, I have seen that uh, the tension is in Latvian society is growing uh, and this uh, 
this pressure toward uh, toward Parliament to legalize and more and more, uh, how to say, efforts and uh, mm, uh, and the, this in my LGBT uh, circles they tried more times to push through Parliament legalization, and I have seen that it's necessary to to do something, and wh when I Pope Francis. Uh, told about homosexuals that who I am to judge them and uh, our media started to write that uh, that uh, Catholic Church recognizes homosexual unions and I was invited uh, to the first program of our TV television uh, one against one uh, it's called this program and I explained the Catholic teaching about it and the words of the Pope. And after it, I told that I have one proposal and it's a very popular program in Latvia. And I prepared very carefully. I consulted with Yuri Sirudevsky, uh, probably one part of uh, you uh, know, know him, uh, how to how to deal with this topic to resolve tension in our society, but not to uh, put in danger family concept of family. And uh, I propose to introduce one law, but not in this part of family law, but uh, civil, civil, how to say, uh, agreements. Uh, the law about common household. And I told that, for example, two old women or uh, one old person and young person who is taking care about uh, old person or uh, also two students, for example, or religious community, two, three nuns to, to, together. That's very <coughs> big category, but also homosexual couples can enter here. But it's nothing to do with family concept. And it was accepted, how to say, resonance was quite positive in Latvia. It's pity, but I was manipulated by mass media because mass media immediately wrote that I am in the favor of homosexual couples legalization and also agency AFP, agents uh, France Press, they published everywhere and in Italy also. Uh, I fight against it and disarmed at the end. They took back this information, but I was so for two, <laughs> two weeks. Uh, but one week after this program, our constitutional court took decision uh, that, uh, that um, practically impose legalization of, uh, of homosexual uh, homosexual couples no as one as one stage uh, it means that in 2020 a woman whose partner also a woman did not receive the intended leave after the birth of a child applied to the constitutional court and constitutional court decided that she has to receive it uh, and uh, uh, ordered for our parliament to put in order and this thing. And um, it, it was a problem. And, uh, but responding to such decision, uh, our Latvian Men's Association, uh, they started to, uh, how to say, uh, <laughs> The Central Le Election Commission has regist registered the draft law amendment to the Satversme of, it means, pa its uh, constitution of the Republic of, of Latvia. And they would like to include in our constitution one amendment. And here I would like one step, one step back. In uh, 2005, uh, in our constitution, it was introduced that uh, marriage is a union between a man and woman. 
but family wasn't defined. It was, how to say, comma and family, but without explanation. And now this decision of constitutional court, they are changing the concept of family, that family can be also homosexual union. And for this reason, our first step was the, our Catholic Bishops' Conference. We published common, common letter uh, that we support this initiative of uh, Latvian Men's Association. It was the first step. Uh, after it, uh, we organized ecumenical uh, letter and its uh, unique interreligious motive inside because there was about 10 signatures in this letter supporting this concept of family as based on the marriage and marriage as a union of men and women. And there was also signature of our uh, uh, religious community of Jews because we are friends with uh, their president. And uh, all main Christian confessions. It was about 10, 10, uh, ten signatures to, uh, together. It's pity, but it was ignored by our uh, parliamentarians and because we, I sent with my electronic signature to parliament, to, not to our highest uh, authorities. And uh, after it, there was one also very strange shift because Ministry of Justice formed one working group to how to say how to fulfill this decision of constitutional court. I sent three my delegates also. Other confessions also sent delegates. They were working for one year, eight meetings, proposals from our part, all was it seemed okay. But at the end Ministry of Justice, it is, uh, how to say, governed by our so-called new conservative party. They prepared totally different proposal which practically recognize homosexual uh, copies like as family and put it in parliament. It was shock for, for working group and for, uh, for, for Christians, we also ecumenically reacted to it and sent letter to the parliament inviting not to support this, uh, this, this proposal, but it's already, it, it already passed two times, two, two votations, and uh, remained just one votation, and it seems that for the sake of the support of conservative party, because they are coalition of two liberal parties and two conservative parties. And when three against one, it's clear that uh, it's passing through. And for this reason, it's pity, but our you know, concept of family in such way is in danger in our country. Be because before it was very clear that uh, marriage and family is union is based on the union of men and women or parenthood or uh, or adoption so it's the second point now third third point about istanbul convention um, istanbul convention uh, was signed in latvia in 2016 uh, before uh, it was signed, once more, we, main Christian confession, sent a letter to the Prime Minister and uh, involved ministries not to uh, sign it and uh, putting also argumentation there. It's pity it was signed, but uh, some years later, I have gotten information that after one week, it will pass to the parliament for ratification. And immediately I started to do something and I 
asked uh, a meeting with the most influential party in Latvia before it was, uh, this party supported ratification. They were about 30 persons, uh, parliamentarians and, their, uh, and some ministers, and I can say that it was God's grace that uh, they changed their minds and uh, they, uh, how to say, took back their, their um, decision. And this uh, convention was not ratified, is not ratified till today. But I, I would like to say that I, I worked very hard with this text, with, uh, with uh, this explanation of uh, this convention, and I found that it's very ideologized because, for example, so-called grevio structure, it's a surveying structure. It's written in the text of convention that it has to be, uh, how to say, uh, organized, uh, that five men and si five women, uh, women uh, has to be inside, have to be inside. I started to check, and I have seen that there are 10 women and just one is not expert in gender, but uh, combating against corruption. And I told, hmm, it can be true only in such case if five of these women are, are uh, like a, are thinking that they are men. <laughs> and so, um, no, and uh, uh, also there was a discussion, expert con concilium in, uh, in uh, our Academy of Sciences, I was very active also there. Uh, and uh, this uh, concilium of experts at the end decide, how to say, sent decision that we don't recommend to ratify this convention for the sake of doubts, because there are doubts about, about objectivity of, of this convention. And it was, I can say great victory because it was it strengthened also our our argumentation, and uh, now conclusion uh, that in Latvia uh, we are fighting for how no defending family values, but Catholics alone twenty percent we hadn't influence. But we, when we are doing all Christians together, then our government, our parliament, I, I would like to say that no, they are not obedient to us, but then we can influence processes. And so, and it's our, it's our experience. And thank you very much for your attention.